morning, learners. This is the TV Base Instruction, a program of the Division of Davao de Oro where education continues at your respective television. My name is Teacher Ricardo Imanig Camus Jr. from Mapaka Elementary School, Compostela West District, your science teacher for this session. For the guidance of our audience, this episode is for Grade 4 Science. Please be informed that after this session, you will learn to identify the changes in materials that are useful or harmful to the environment. Identify the useful and harmful effects of the changes in the materials to the environment. Identify some ways of preventing or minimizing the harmful effects of the changes in the materials to the environment. Identify the 5 R's of Responsible Waste Management. How well do you know about the useful or harmful effect of the changes in materials to the environment? Let's try to find out by answering the following questions found on page 2 to 3 of your module. After honestly answering this, you may check the answers at the last part of this module. Please turn your module on page 4, particularly on the Let Us Study part. Now, try to answer the activity by arranging the scrambled letters to get the correct word. Word clothes are provided for you. Again, after honestly answering this, you may check the answers at the last part of this module. Now, let's continue on page 5. Look at the pictures below. Observe the changes made with the following materials. What have you observed in the pictures? Yes, different changes have been made to the old tire. As we can see, in picture A, the old tire has been made into a swing. While in picture B, the old tire has been burned. Which picture shows that the change made in the old tire is useful? Yes, picture A. As we can see, in picture A, the old tire has been made into a swing. While in picture B, the old tire has been burned. Which picture shows that the change made in old tire is useful? Yes, picture A. Shows that the change made in the old tire is useful. What made it useful? Very good! Turning this old tire into a swing can make children and adults enjoy riding on it. Which picture shows that the change made in the old tire is harmful? Yes! Picture B shows that the change made in old tire is harmful. What made burning of old tire harmful? You got it right! Yay! Burning old tires can cause negative impact on the environment and on people's health because it pollutes the air that we breathe. Now, turn your module on page 6. Let us have another example. Do you know what the pictures below are? Yes, you are right. As you can see in the pictures, pieces of woods are made into a chair. Is the change useful or harmful? The answer is useful. What made it useful? It is used for sitting to make us comfortable. Did you still get the right answer? Yeah! Wow! You're so brilliant! Let's try another one. The pictures show that trees are being cut. Is the change useful or harmful? The answer is harmful. 
What made it harmful? Cutting down trees takes away the oxygen. Animals become homeless and it loosens the ground which mostly causes landslides. The earth is a beautiful place where humans are provided with everything that they could use in order to survive. They are surrounded with materials that they can utilize in order to supply their basic needs. But some changes in the materials may be useful to the environment while others are harmful. Now, turn to page 7. Here are more examples of changes in the materials that are useful to the environment. Using animal wool in making a woven cloth or fabric. Turning plastic into different cases. Cutting fabric to be made into pillowcase. Making old turned clothes into cemented packs. Cutting a piece of cloth to be made into a face mask. Here are more examples of changes in materials that are harmful to the environment. Burning of plastic materials. Dumping garbage on land. Cutting down trees. Throwing dead animals into the sewage or river. Making materials such as land or soil, air and water polluted. When the material is dumped with garbage of any kind such as empty bottles, plastics, toxic waste, chemical from factories and other establishment, the land becomes polluted. Polluted land serves as breeding places for flies, cockroaches, and rats. These pests carry germs that cause diseases that is hazardous to one's health. Growing plants is not also possible in polluted land. When the material is dumped with garbage of any kind such as empty bottles, plastic waste materials, or even dead animals from houses, and other industrial and chemical waste from factories, the river becomes polluted. If we drink water contaminated with germs, we are likely to get sick. Polluted water also kills living organisms such as fish and water plants. When the air is blanketed with smoke from factories and motorized vehicles, ashes and other dust particles, the air becomes polluted. Polluted air causes skin itchiness, lung infections, cancer, and other respiratory diseases. Burning of garbage such as plastic materials, rubber, and other waste is also harmful to the environment. Many items in household garbage, when burned, release dangerous toxic chemicals. These pose health risks, especially for people, particularly those with asthma and other heart and lung ailments. Because the smoke is close to the ground, it can also settle on fruits, vegetables, and other vegetation that becomes dangerous to eat for humans and wildlife. The smoke and toxins that enter the air also contribute to the greenhouse effect and global warming. To prevent or minimize the effect of burning of garbage waste, Waste segregation must be observed and the 5 R's should be practiced. Cutting down trees is also harmful to the environment. It affects the quality of air that we breathe. It causes a rapid change in temperature. In addition, when trees are cut down, 
the rain levels are severely affected. This in turn changes weather patterns which lead to other environmental concerns. Cutting down of trees also causes soil erosion. Many animals native to forest also lose their habitats. Cutting down tree is prohibited. To solve the problem on deforestation, planting of trees or reforestation should be done. Some changes in the materials are harmful to the environment. It may pollute the land, water, and air. To keep our surroundings clean and to prevent or minimize pollution in our environment, people are encouraged to do the five R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle, repair, and rock. The five R's of responsible waste management are reduce. How to reduce? Buy items in refillable containers. Use either cloth bag, eco bag, paper bag, native baskets instead of plastic bag when you buy groceries. Avoid buying disposable items or single-use products such as batteries, razors, utensils, plates, cups, etc. Reuse. How to reuse? Donate or sell reusable items. Use both sides of paper when printing and reuse as scratch paper, gift wrapper, etc. Consider the potential lifespan or durability when buying new products. Buy durable food storage containers and reuse them instead of using foil, plastic bags, or wrap. The next R is recycle. How to recycle? Do not throw away use newspaper, or use writing pads. Sell them or bring them into usable paper again. Use bottles, tin cans, rubber tires can be recycled into useful materials. The next R is repair. How? Have appliances, office equipment, lighting fixtures, and automotive parts repaired instead of buying new ones. Have an old furniture reupholstered or refurbished instead of buying new ones. The last R is rot. Set up a compost pile to compost yard trimmings. Make a compost pit or bin in the yard for your biodegradable materials such as fruits, vegetables, coffee grinds, etc. Now turn your module on page 9, particularly on Let Us Practice. You may now answer the questions under Activity 1, 2, and 3. Again, after honestly answering these activities, you may check the answers at the last part of this module. Did you get the correct answers? Very good! Now, open your module on page 10. Let us answer activity 1, 2, 3, and 4 under let us practice more. Please refer your answers on the last part of this module. Did you get the right answers? Yeah! Excellent! Yeah! 
Now, open your module on page 16 at the Let Us Remember part. Read this repeatedly so that you will not forget your learning for today. Some changes in the materials are useful to the environment while others are harmful. Some changes in the materials may be harmful to the environment. It may pollute the land, air, and water. Polluted environment may pose great health risk to the people. To prevent or minimize the effect of burning of garbage or waste, Waste segregation should be done and the 5 R's should be practiced. The 5 R's of responsible waste management are Reduce Reuse Recycle Repair and Run Now it is time to check how far have you learned our lesson for today. Open your module on page 16, particularly on Let Us Assess. Then, answer the questions. Once you are done, you may check the answers at the last part of this module. Let us now proceed on page 18 under Let Us Enhance. You are asked to choose one situation which you can apply the 5 R's of Responsible Waste Management and explain how it can help minimize or prevent pollution whether on land, water, or air. You may write your answer on the notebook. Finally, at the Let Us Reflect part, page 16. Kindly read it aloud so that you will not forget the very important lesson for today. I know that today's session is a fruitful one. Upon knowing that we learned something new that we could apply to our daily life. That even this COVID-19 pandemic cannot stop us from learning. Again, I am Teacher Ricardo Imani Camos Jr. from Mapaka Elementary School, Compostela West District. Your teacher in this session. This is TV Escuela, where education continues at your respective televisions. Dito sa TV Skwela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!